Hey everybody, it's your boy Eduardo Jackson, founder, creator, and CEO of Cinema Draft LLC and CD 3D Token, and welcome back after a hiatus to AMA Wednesday. We've seen some shit, haven't we, y'all? <laughs> the FTX is in full meltdown, which has definitely been making my job a lot harder trying to get uh, our decentralized exchange and game together. Uh, I, I won't lie, it's, it's been a struggle, but we're still out here. We're still working to try to get things right for you all. And I thought I'd give you guys a very small, brief update, then no update at all. Just to show you guys that, you know, we haven't gone anywhere. We're not rug pulling. We're not SBFing or anything. If anything, we're trying to get more money into the ecosystem, more buyers of the token, and more investment into the company so we can speed the sucker along. You guys have been patiently waiting, long suffering. I, I apologize for whatever part I had to play in that. If I knew how to code, this stuff would have been done months ago. Anyways, here we are. So, so not a lot. Oh, and, and as far as the FTX stuff goes, uh, for those of you who've been under a crypto rock or on a social media cleanse, FTX, the FTX exchange run by San Bankman Freed, aka SBF out of the Bahamas, was basically exposed to be a Ponzi scheme on Ponzi schemes where there's all sorts of counterparty risk between the different crypto banks, some exchanges, hedge funds, venture capital firms and funds. Everyone was being exposed to everyone with FTX. And it kind of makes sense because they were out there everywhere. They were on the umpires shirts during the world series they were on the court at i think they're on the court at a uh, chase center over the golden state warriors they also you know owned naming rights to ftx arena the you know formerly american airlines arena down there in downtown miami so they were everywhere sam bankman free got caught He's had the weirdest pr strategy in memory where he's basically just admitting guilt left and right, but doesn't seem to be bothered by it. That's the thing that trips me out. He doesn't, he, he makes it sound like he just got caught, you know, making a few accounting mistakes or messy errors. And this is what drives me nuts because I've been trying to raise venture capital for cinema draft and conversely CD 3d. Well, CD 3d for the last uh, year or so for, cinema draft for almost seven years now will be seven years come March and Jesus Christ, they don't even vet these guys. Where's the due diligence? Anyways, that's probably a whole other podcast, but this drives me nuts where the same homogeneous group of venture capitalists seem to fund people who look like them or came from where they came from or who, you know, have just kissed the sufficiently enough ass or, or comes from those, you know, trading or incubator story. It just drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. So anyways, because of the poor or lack of due diligence by a bunch of tech bros, crypto has been having a bit of a time. Now, speaking of, take a look at coin market cap. Uh, everything's down. Our stuff's down. I don't know what that is. Um, Bitcoin is at you know, multi-year lows. Binance coin is on the come up and Litecoin has been on a tear. What's going on there? I like Litecoin because it's cheap. It's fast way to, for me to uh, get fiat into um, Binance coin because I, I live in one of those states where you can't interact directly with Binance.us. It's really stupid. Um and so I have to go through a bunch of contortions to get my Binance coins. So usually I'll buy Litecoin and then I'll exchange it through changenow.io into Binance coin. So anyways, uh, BNB is on a tear. So is Litecoin. Maybe they know something I don't know. Uh, and as far as CD3D's price, 
we can actually look it up now these days on here. Uh, yeah, just under five, just under 0. 0.005 cents. I mean, we're not going to be here forever. I promise you. I am working hard to try to get us out of the situation. We're not going to be here forever. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, so the only thing of note that's really happened and it's not very noteworthy is that we did scoop up some more of our liquidity tokens. And yeah, oh, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. So I, I was mentioned in the chat that I was trying to get a, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to get a, um, uh, a staking pool going up again, just like we had on, on Dodo. I went back to Dodo. It's gone. I went to a couple other places like Banker Doge and some other places. No one, no one's letting you do self-service staking anymore. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. And then I found one place called Altru Coin, but they want like a full B and B just to hold like a vault. Plus, they had all these weird tack-on fees, like a fee for you to deposit and a fee for you to withdraw. It, 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 it was a mess. Uh, we're not going to do that. And, and this just even shows more reason why we need to get CD3D decks done. So you could have autonomous self-service uh, staking for for tokens. If you have a token project and you want to reward your holders with some with some staking, you can just go to our site set up shop and direct people over to stake their tokens on CD3D decks. I mean, it, it shouldn't be this hard. I, where is this gone? Like, I'm really kind of shocked in this, this point with Dodo that they just took it off, like just took it off completely. You go to, you can't even go to the legacy site anymore. You go to Dodo X. Yeah. You go to, actually, that's not what I wanted. You go to crowd pooling. And it's just, I mean, you can't do anything. You can't create anything. It used to be crowd pooling, right? Like you used to be able to, to be able to create something here. It's just, uh, I'm at, you know what? Just before I rule it out entirely, I will, I think I'll check out their, I think I'll check out their discord and ask, the, you know, the obvious question, but it seems to be gone, y'all. I think they also called it liquidity mining. Just it's just gone. I mean, look, we can even search by our address, and it probably won't even pop up. Actually, we can get it here. No, that's not. Hold on. Here it is. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Endpoint error. See my state? No, I don't have anything staked. I mean, it's almost like they got out of that business. And I don't know what's going on. I mean, it seems like a lot of crypto is in hunker down mode. It's almost like they didn't like these companies didn't prepare for the inevitable, you know, four year cycle cycling crypto winter. We this we do this every time. Two thousand what was it? Two thousand eighteen. I think it was um was was pretty bad that's when i got turned on to um where's it 17 mm -hmm. no i think it was yeah it was 2018 2018 when things went bearish again i mean innovation comes through through bearish stuff that's why the whole like reflection token thing kind of came about with p3d a part of our namesake uh, with CD3D. Uh, I mean, you'll, you're going to see some some cool innovations that come out of this bear market. But right now, in this hunker down mode, it seems like a lot of these companies just didn't prepare, didn't plan. Maybe they spent as much as they got. Maybe they didn't make as much as they should have during the good times. But it seems like everyone's cutting back on services. So we don't have staking for you yet. I did put in applications for a few different spots. My homework tonight is to finish going through this list of different B and B. I mean, like, and a lot of these are just dead, right? Like, you know, we can just right click this, or they just don't even apply. And a lot of them are just, you know, dead or or, or
or scams, whatever. I mean, this doesn't seem like it's going to help us. I don't, I don't see any kind of staking. Maybe, was it farming, maybe? Liquidity? See, those don't even work. It's just, was it swap? So, yeah, it's so just a lot of stuff doesn't farm stake liquidity pair tokens, earn tokens by joining liquidity pools. Uh, auto investor. Yeah, so I just, it's rough out there, man. It's rough. Earn rewards instantly, smarts. Yeah, so that this is my homework. I'm going through all 241 i've actually gone through about maybe 100 already so far but you know there's a lot there's a lot to check out to see if anyone will let us stake so i want to do it i know that's the most popular thing you guys have asked for is staking and so I'd, I'd love to do that for you guys um i still have yet to find a home i put in three applications to some fairly obscure sites <laughs> but they seem to be legit um and if and I will definitely let you know as soon as we have a staking home. I'm thinking about maybe doing 600,000-ish CD3D over 45 days. So that'd be about 13.3 thousand a day with the CD3D being given out. So I definitely want to hook you guys up. Because like I said, we, we got liquidity in from our proof of uh, proof of lock and Oh. Uh. Okay. Sorry, but oh, we. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Are we still on? Okay, I think we're still recording. Oh, we're we're alive. All right. No. What? Okay, something's. Wow. I don't. I hope I'm not like being live hacked. That would be freaking unfortunate and embarrassing at the same time. Um, okay. Anyways, I, I lost one of my monitors. That's so weird. All right. Uh, anyways. As I was saying, uh, the only thing that really happened was so we're in this so we're in this ninety day period where we're doing thirty three percent. Did I hold on ninety days? Fourteen point five million. Okay, and then ninety days. So this is when it ends, right? Okay, yeah. So now, so we're in this stretch. We're doing. Um, 30 days each of, of, of roughly 500,000 tokens. You can even go to the, the pink lock. That is bizarre. What happened to my... Screen, that was scary. Um, so this is the pink lock. So we're now on the current cycle and we've already unlocked this amount. So there's about 495,000 left to go. And then we will take that next 500,000, put it to our liquidity wallet. And also I've been, uh, because of all the weird hacking and stuff going on in the industry, I have taken the precaution of just moving some accounts around, um, fortifying my ledger, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if you guys are watching the chain too carefully, but that's a lot of what the, the, the big ticket movement has been about. All right. Uh, and so I think it's pretty much it. You know, we, uh, we scooped up another 495,000 tokens the other day. I'm looking for staking for you guys. Um, and yeah, and I'm just trying to get some more money into the platform so we can finish this out. We are, we're pretty damn close. We are pretty damn close. I know for a fact investors are looking at it. I know for a fact I submitted uh three applications for staking so if anything comes through with staking i'll definitely let you guys know and that's going to do it for this ama wednesday um not much more i can tell you uh thanks everybody for watching this later 
Uh, I apologize. It's been so long, but you know what? I don't want to blow sunshine up your ass. You know, I'm basically just me checking in with you, the community, just letting you all know that we're still here. We're still grinding. We haven't gone anywhere. We haven't gotten the money we need yet, but we haven't gone anywhere. And we are definitely working on, on, uh, providing value and increasing the stock, the, the, the token price for you as soon as possible. All right. So sorry, sorry. There's no staking announcement tonight. Um, I'm working on trying to find a staking home for us real quick. I will have these AMA Wednesdays as needed. There's not a whole lot going on right now with our role in the industry. So once a week might be a little bit ambitious, but they will be Wednesdays and they will be as needed. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. Sorry for the lack of a comprehensive update, but you know what? Hang in there. We're going to see you through together. Thanks, three deers. Holla at your boy.